Good evening, good morning, precious people of God. And yes, I am on the road. Uh, but I am doing our daily devotional. It's an evening devotional. Woo, wait till I tell you about this day. But before we get started, let me uh, welcome you to the channel. If this is your first time, you go ahead and hit that button, ring that bell, give us a, a thumbs up, share this devotional. It's been a uh, journey on this one freeway today. Nevertheless, y'all be careful this weekend because cops are out like white on rice. Uh, I just found out it's because of a holiday. Um, but there has been multiple accidents on the other side of the freeway. And this side was like rubbernecking and trying to be nosy see what's going on. But anywho, let's go ahead and jump on into it. I don't have my book, of course. So I'm just going to give y'all something straight from the heart. I want to read Matthew 5 and 14 that says, You are the light of the salt of the earth and a city that should not be hidden. We are to let our light shine. Amen. Uh, I want to share something with you because I should have been to my destination already. But um, last night when I left to go get me something to eat, I was just going to keep on going. And then it got late because I'm running in and out of stores. And on my way back to the beach, I decided to go to another beach. I wanted to go back to the Gulf Shores. And about midways to the Gulf Shores, Spirit said, go back where you were. So I went back. I turned around in the middle of the road, but literally almost, and went back to where I was for the previous two nights. So last night made my third night there. And when I got back there, there was that same car that had been there the night I got there. And when I woke up this morning, I looked up and I saw a person finally in the car. Had not been seeing nobody in the car. And I said, Lord, I said, I'm, I'm just going to go over there and make sure ain't nobody in the car dead. Because that car had not moved since I've been there. Kind of find out it was a little old lady. And now talking about letting your light shine. You know, Jesus is the light of the world. And we that are his are the soul. Let our light shine so that men may see God. Amen. So I went over there and asked her, you know, are you okay? She said, yeah, I'm just not, just not getting up. And um, I said, this car have not moved the three. I said, you are the reason why I'm back here today. I said, and you're the reason why I stayed the first two nights because you was here. And I felt like, okay, well, it's okay to be here because your car had not moved. I said, but then I got concerned because the car had not moved and I hadn't seen no activity of a person. So I thought it was an abandoned car. So when I woke up this morning, I was going to get up and come over here and look in your car just to make sure there was nobody in here. And I saw you sitting up in the driver's seat, but I didn't see you get in the car. So you must have came from the back seat. And she's like, yeah, when I've been here, she said, um, my son walked away and left me here and the car won't run. So I said, okay, well, um, you need a job. I, I can find some cables or not. I'll call AAA. So she's like, well, the police told me not to drive the car because the tags expired the tags just expired september 30th and i said well typically they the states give you like a, a little grace you know when the tags expire they're not gonna tell you just to not not run the car so basically i don't know how long she's been down on that beach stranded i said well do you have food do you have water and she's like well i'm just cold at night uh and hot in the day girl I went in my, my, my entourage of stuff back here in the, in the car and got her some some uh, some leggings. I gave her three pair, but she gave one pair back. And um, I said, you can wear these. I said, I just washed them. Having, you know, I just unrolled them just to hand them to you so you can be warm. And uh, kind of find out one of her phones had gotten cut off by a family member. Um, a family member can be some bugger bears and her grandson had been trying to help her and he's in New Mexico he's been trying to help her find a place get a place and get out from down there by that beach this little lady is 77 years old had been walking two and three miles a day and she, what broke my heart was she said she paid $18 for a hamburger 
in one of the little uh, fine establishments. There was nothing local like McDonald's and Burger King in walking distance. The nearest McDonald's was over three miles away. So I said, well, I'll go get you a charger. And um, she said, well, will you bring me something back to eat? Just as long as it's not an $18 hamburger. I said, yeah, I'll find you something. So I was gone so long. I said, Lord, don't let this woman think that I ran off with her money. So she gave me $30. But as I'm in the store getting the stuff for her, the Lord just said, you get it. You buy it. I'm like, I ain't got no extra money. I'm strong. He said, you bless her. So I said, okay, Lord. So I bought her a, a backpack. So I said, you know, when you leave the car, just put your important stuff in this backpack and don't leave it in the car. Carry it on your back if you have to leave the car. And, you know, I bought one of them little lunch bags for her to put her food in. She wanted to make her like a little lunch and carry it with her. Because she did have food. I offered her food, offered her water, but she said she had some. And um, got her some charges and I bought her a blanket. And uh, then I handed her money back to her. She said, well, why you didn't, why you didn't use the money? I said, because the Lord told me to buy it, to bless you. I said, but uh, I just want to make sure you're okay. We made some phone calls while I was still there. I said, I got to go ahead on and use the bathroom so I can get on the road because uh, I got a long ways to go. And uh, when I came back from the bathroom, she handed me some money. She said, well, I just, I know you're not going to take it, but take this and bless the next person that you meet that's like me and uh, this little lady just she just touched my heart for her to because she didn't look 77 didn't walk like she was 77 she walked like she was in her 40s but life has dealt this lady a bad hand and she just there and I'd have been like everybody else had I not number one turned around last night and went back number two had not had it in my heart to go make sure she wasn't laying in that car dead because i didn't know if it was a man or woman in that car i didn't know if anybody was in the car i just needed to wake up and go see and when i got up and i looked out the window because i parked two cars away from her this time she was sitting in the driver's seat but the car wouldn't start we gotta let our light shine as sons and daughters of the Most High God. We got to let our light shine so that people can see God and see the good works of God as a testament that He is good. Um, as I was leaving, I grabbed her hand. You know, you, you can't be afraid. I grabbed her hand and prayed for her. And she said she was a Jehovah Witness. And the funny thing is, she said the Jehovah Witnesses had came out there and gave her some tracks and whatnot. But when I came out the bathroom, I saw the Jehovah Witnesses for the first time out of the three days that I've been down there. I saw the Jehovah Witnesses, but they were on the opposite side of the parking lot. Now I'm like, I know they know that lady is still over there because that car has not moved. But God has called us to be a light. A city that sits on a hill, you cannot hide your life. Sometimes we just got to get out of our comfort zones and um, do the works of the king. So with that being said, and I know y'all, if you made it this far, you see how the car just jumped in front of me because the cops are up here. I'm going to go ahead on the end of this video. Y'all have a blessed night. And until next time, don't forget to hit that button, ring that bell, leave a comment, share the devotional. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless you. Walk in the light. Beautiful light. God bless you.